Hi, today I will show you how I have upgraded my printer. I've decided to upgrade my printer because it has a few issues. My Y axis has 3D printer bearings and lately they've deformed. Mm, as you can see here, those are supposed to be perfectly round pins and they are not. It is because of the deformed bearings. So today I will replace them with new proper ones. I think that 3D printed bearings are good, but do not last that long. The second issue is that my threaded rod has some serious groove in it. It is probably because of the bearing moving back and forth and some dirt get inside and make this really big groove. I will make a photo of it so we can see it better. The easiest repair would be to change this rod and change this bearing. But if I have to do it, then I have to remove the Z axis the Y axis, remove the both smooth rods from the uh, carriages. So I can also make it a new one and that probably would be faster. What's more, uh, Anet A6 has this issue with moving Y axis. This is not so serious, but it could be improved and my idea is to prusify it so i'm going to use some prusa mark 3 y axis and because in prusa the distance between the threaded rod and the smooth rod is slightly different than in anet a6 i have to also update my z axis okay so now let me take all of this apart
Now I have X axis and Z axis removed. Uh, now I will remove the Y axis. This should be pretty simple because of my upgrade. Just unscrew here, screw here. Loosen the belt. Now the smooth rods should just pop out like that. Also in the back. Okay. So the, the belt is also removed now. <clears throat> Now I can flip it over. Without breaking too much stuff. I remove my thread ropes. Some time ago I bought those Chinesium bearings. I will just clean them. The bearings are clean. We just apply some light all just tiny bit. The trick is to get those zip ties through the bearings mounts to slightly bend the end of the zip tie so it will bend and go through the mounting. Hopefully that will work for everyone. Now I can insert the rod. Really carefully. Okay. Now it's time to back in place. Just press fit them inside. Okay. Now I should be able to Okay, so the belt is in place. The 
but that is moving really smooth. There's one last thing, but in fact I will do it later. Apply some pressure to tighten the belt. I will leave it like that for now. It's good enough. But later I will have to tighten it so the belt won't be that loose. Yeah. So, Y axis is done.